An election integrity group filed a bombshell case in Georgia, bolstering the Trump legal team case against the election. One America Chanel Rion has more. Thursday, while Georgia legislators held a Senate hearing in their state capitol on election integrity with the Trump legal team, one analyst shared data in a lawsuit he claims will leave legislators little choice but to address widespread fraud in Georgia. Matt Brainerd, founder of the Voter Integrity Project, tells One American News his group of data analysts have collected thousands of voter names and records and verified them, and what they found cannot be ignored. Well, currently, uh, we have some litigation pending. I just signed an affidavit uh, last night going into one of the lawsuits in Georgia, which I believe the president's team has joined, um, that has about 500 pages to it because it includes the names and addresses and voter IDs and dates of birth of all the people or people who cast illegal ballots or in whose names illegal ballots were cast and had other anomalies such as uh, registering at fake addresses that we were able to determine. So that will go into a courtroom and it's I think maybe the first time uh, some of our work has gone into a courtroom where it will be seriously considered um, and maybe make a difference and I'm very optimistic about that and it's a very comprehensive filing. It's not just my work but work that's based on my work and other analyses and other affidavits from witnesses etc that have gone into that. Brainerd handed his data findings directly to Georgia lawmakers for verification. His findings include thousands of voters who are ineligible to vote and asks legislators for the state of Georgia to verify his data. And they're going to actually hand that over to the Secretary of State to see if it validates or not. Specifically individuals who don't meet residency requirements to cast ballots in that state. And between that and those who are registered at felony addresses, I provided about uh, over, I think around 22,000 um, ballots that could have been cast illegally. And depending on what the Secretary of State says, um, either validating or invalidating my work, uh, that's, that's far more than the margin of victory in that state. And I think we'll put the brakes on uh, anybody walking out of that state with the electors anytime soon. Wow. So what is your sense in dealing with the Georgia legislators compared to dealing with other legislators in other states that have been contested? I'm sensing a tremendous amount of courage. That if they do not believe they can, uh, that that election was clean and that, that Joe Biden in fact won, um, they're not going to be afraid to say so and to take action on that basis. Brainerd's methodology consists of a merging of state voter rolls along with a meticulous and labor-intensive process of calling thousands of these voters and checking to see that they voted. Brainerd's findings consistently found that in batches of 1,500 voters, a whopping one-third of them did not actually vote even though the voter rolls claimed they had. Brainerd's findings, should they be verified by Georgia's Secretary of State, further bolsters the case being made here by the Trump legal team in Georgia in the war on illegal ballots and a compromised election. Chanel Rian, One American News, Atlanta. Want to see more videos like this? Visit OANN.com for immediate access to all the clips you've been waiting to see.